let me show y'all how hard being a lease operator is. See that? Uh oh, hold on. See that? It's off. I mean, it's flat. Oh, going through potholes at a shipper. Can't even, hold on. See that? It's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like that. Let me show you how hard leasing is. <laughs> and I'm sure, you know, uh, probably get some flack for this, but whatever. Uh, you're gonna be like, you work at a bag of carrier. But let me, I'm gonna show you how hard this is, man. Let me, let me show you, this is what you have to do when you're a lease operator, okay? First, you have to, you know, walk into Wendy's to use the restroom. Maybe get a Frosty. I don't know, okay? Tomorrow, I'm about to start fasting, so it's okay. Um, but you walk into Wendy's, you use the restroom, and walk back out. And you just so happen that your left eye looks to the left and says, Oh, shit. Your tire is flat, right? So, once you do that, okay... As a lease operator, because that's what I, or sorry, glorified company driver. What you do is, you say, oh my God, no, life is, oh, life is over. No, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Then, right, like after two minutes of that, you uh, call road rescue, okay, a road breakdown, whatever you want to call them, the mechanic people. And I'm sure the, like, 80,000-year truck drivers will say, Oh, you need to handle it yourself. Just blah, blah, blah. Hey, man, relax. This is my story. <laughs> but, so after you, you know, you go all crazy, like, Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Well, I can't afford a tire. Then, you, uh, I'm kind of recording on my phone, so I can't. So you go, well, I have voice. So I say, call road rescue. Then you gotta wait online. You gotta, okay, are you a driver? Yes. Then you gotta wait. Oh my god. And while you're waiting for them to answer the phone, you go get some more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's my tire. What am I gonna do? No. Why me? Right? Whew. Okay, then they finally answer. Yes. You say, hey man, I'm out here in West Bubba. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of nowhere. I need help because my tire's flat. <laughs> then you got to man up because they're going to be like, shut that crying up. So, and because we're, we're out in the middle of nowhere, it's probably going to cost me a lot of money. And I know, you know, people are like, oh man, you shouldn't be paying for that. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Hey man, look, you said it. I'm a, com a glorified company driver. So really, is it me paying for it? Cause we have a maintenance account through them so you know it's money i've never i never see until i like complete the lease or i need something worked on so i really never see that money so i don't miss it you know what i'm saying so is it a big deal even though you know maintenance account is about twenty six hundred twenty six hundred dollars in there and uh that's only with half a year running with this truck and uh you know, so <laughs> hopefully we can find somebody close that can fix my tire and I don't have to spend my whole maintenance account. Or, you know, you just be like, hey, man, you know, that's what the money is for. You know, that's one of the things about me when it comes to trucking stuff like this. Is, that's why, like I may have a little small stuff happen. I don't really post it because it's not really a big deal. I probably should because that's what people like. Right. They like the negative stuff because probably when I post it's like breakdown or something clickbait it's going to have a ton of views because people want to see what went wrong right but really it's nothing that's wrong it's just i got to call somebody um i went through some potholes probably that's what it was and they just got to air it up everything is fine happened to me before i don't think i documented it it's just you know it's just like that but uh yeah so after you break down and see that oh my god you uh you call and then you break down again because you're on hold. Then you tell them what's wrong. And they say, hey, man, we're going to call you back. 
and let you know what we found. And then what they're gonna do is tell you prices and you're gonna be like, yes or no. Cause they're gonna probably be like, oh yeah, they're gonna come out. It's gonna cost you 250 to $300 just for them to come out to you. And then hopefully you don't need a tire. Oh my God, man. Oh, life is so hard as a lease operator, man. Oh my God. And I'm sure you old timers will say, yeah, well, just wait till your engine is, hey, bruh. Warranty, okay? And I drive 58 to 62, so I don't do anything extra to avoid the warranty. So relax, okay? It's not my fault that your old truck is old and busted, okay? <laughs> I'm just playing, man. Relax. Oh, my God. Just have fun with life. Oh, my God. We get so butthurt over the smallest things, man. Relax, man. Relax, okay? But, yeah, man, that's my life. Uh, flat tire in the Wendy's parking lot. Didn't know it till I came out of the bathroom. It's, uh, it's still on the beat. But it's just it's just flat. Now I think uh probably I had to do a turnaround in the in the in their uh in their lot in their yard and it was a bunch of potholes, so that's probably what it was. So we're gonna get that fixed, man. There's no biggie. And uh we're gonna keep trucking, you know what I'm saying? So when you get out here, because he I mean as a company guy, you know, it shouldn't cost me any time. We're waiting on the load, the load not ready yet. It shouldn't be ready until about nine o'clock tonight. So uh it's a thousand miles. We got two days to run it. <laughs> so relax. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to get no breakdown pay because, you know, I am a glorified company driver. If I did have a warranty problem and I broke down for like two days, I would get paid breakdown pay. You know, I know, I know safety nets. I, it's for kids, but I'm a big kid. We all know that because I'm a goofy dude, right? Hey, get off of it. So, uh, but yeah, that's, that's my problem. It's my problem here, okay? We're going to get that fixed. So... Thing about that life, you better get out that truck. Yep, there's my problem right there. You see him? Yep, gotta get another tire. <laughs> gotta get another tire. Ugh, I got some run flats, so it's been messed up. Oh, another tire, like I said. Oh my god, life is over. That's a steer tire. But when I get back to Stevens, we're gonna switch that out. And, ah, where is it at? Yep, there it is. I was told, now nah, that could be getting got now. They told me this is a run flat, so it needs to be replaced. That's what I was told. I thought it was that nail, but it's this right here. I don't know, it's just a piece of metal. Don't know what that is. So. Yep, it could be getting me. But, it's all good. We, you know, you live and you learn, I'ma learn this lesson. I'm sure some of y'all old time truckers gonna let me know that I got got. So let me know, okay? They told me because it had a nail in it and it ran flat that it has to be replaced because the sidewall is damaged. That sounds true to me. That sounds true to me. And when you're messing with big dog, you know, Michelin tires, you know, it'd be like that. So, uh, gotta go handle some business.